Welcome to new tutorial. In this video, I will demonstrate the power factor of induction motor from no load to full load. The power factor mentioned on nameplate rating of induction motor is actually full load power factor. Here is simulation of 30 amps rated induction motor shown, pumping liquid from ground level tank to elevated tank. Load on induction motor is controlled by suction valve. Initially suction valve is fully closed, so that motor experience no load current. When motor is turned on, then it draws 10 amperes current which is no load current. No load current of induction motor is 35 to 45 percent of full load current. Normally no load current consists of magnetizing current and active component of current. Active component is in phase to voltage, while magnetizing component lags 90 degree behind voltages. No load active component comprises on copper and eddy current, plus windage and frictional losses. This component is normally less than magnetizing current, which is reactive component of current. Magnetizing component of current is responsible of creating magnetic field inside induction motor. As magnitude of reactive component of current is higher than active component. As a result, power factor of induction motor is very low at no load condition. Now, load is increased 20% by opening suction valve to 20%. As this load is active part of power, this tends to increase the active component of current while magnetizing component remains same. The resultant vector of current will move towards voltages causing improved power factor. At 40% of load active component again increased, while magnetizing component will remain same as it was on, no load. At this resultant current, power factor is further improved. At 60% of load again magnitude of only active component is increased, which reduces angle between voltage and resultant current, tending better power factor. Applying 80% load on motor give another enhanced power factor. As power factor is improved with load, the efficiency of motor is also increased. Running motor at rated power draws rated active component of current and also rated reactive or magnetizing current, which actually same as no load reactive component or magnetizing component. The conclusion of this video is, if you want to run motor at its maximum efficiency, it is necessary to select motor power near to mechanical load. Its power should not be large enough that it runs on partially load resulting low power factor. Thanks for watching this video. For more such kind of videos, please like this video and hit the subscribe button.